Thanks for joining me here on Chris Review Stuff. Today I'm be doing something for your kitchen. Um, something we didn't think we needed until we actually purchased it. And it's something I heard about while I was listening to a podcast called How I Built This. And at the end of it, they kind of have like a little snippet of like, um, you know, an indie or a local developer, something kind of tiny or smaller. And that's where I saw the, or heard about the drip seat, the sink strainer. Um, heard about it, it's made in the US. Um, it's actually made here in New Jersey. Uh, one of the, the plants is here in New Jersey and developing. That's another reason I was like, oh, let me check it out, you know. Um, it is like an anti-clog design, universal fit, BPA free. It's a silicone based kind of flexible sink drain that fits in your sink. Um, it fits most three and a quarter inch drains and it sits about one inch, one inch deep. And it has nice little feet on the end, so I, we'll get closer as well to kind of just sit in your drain. Um, and they marketed it as it has enough uh, water flow. It catches all that junk in your sink when you're doing your dishes or just cleaning and rinsing them off. But it also allows enough water to flow out that you don't have to pull this out to, to keep going. Um, this is what we are currently using. I'm pretty sure 99% of, of people with sinks have one of these metal things. The problem with this is it easily clogs. And in the middle of drain, in the middle of like washing your dishes, you're gonna have to take this out, bring it over to the garbage, and dump it out, or put it into your compost. Uh, this does not drain really well, and this is not designed. You know, it's got this this plate on the back so that you can you can it like falls in there. It's just it doesn't really work well because um, who's gonna lock up their sink? You know, by, this is what that plate's for. It's to lock your sink up so it doesn't drain. But it's, most of the time, it's it's uh, preventing a lot of these these pocket these holes here to drain water out. It's a, really, it's, it's a problem when you actually take the time to think about what is going on with my sink. This is the problem. So we took this out and replaced it with the drip seat. Um, immediately you can really see the difference in using something like this. Um, I really didn't want to spend, this is nine dollars for one of these. It's nine dollars for this. It seems a bit excessive, um, but it is really worth it. And uh, sure, it's only, it's only $9, but it's $9 for a piece of plastic that I put my sink and food remnants or drain all over, you know, so it was a little expensive. I did buy a two-pack. I think the two-pack's like 14 bucks. Uh, these are available on Walmart, Amazon. You can buy it off their website too, the Dripsy website. I bought it off Amazon because I had free shipping with Prime and um, got a two-pack, gave it to my mom who used it and we'll get into her, th her thoughts as well. Um, it does have a little problem with my sink. It fits perfectly in her sink. Um, but let's get a little closer into problems with my sink. But this is a really cool product. It's something you don't think you need, but you're going to. All right, so this is my sink. I have a little deeper sink than normal people. Like I said, my, mo my mom, I gave one of these to my mom as just like, a, hey, I bought two, have one. And um, it fits perfectly in her sink and sits right at the top. However, in my sink, if you look at it, it does sink in. Let's get a little closer and you can actually see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so now you can kind of see my, my um, sink. It's a little deeper than most people's or at least than my family members. So when I put this Dripsy in, it kind of sits at the top, but as soon as you start to put some water in, it falls to the bottom. And it sits to the bottom and it doesn't allow the... Um, I have the dishwasher on, it's hard in that. But it doesn't allow the water or the actual dripsy to work function as it's supposed to. It's supposed to sit up high to allow the center pistol area to sit. Oh, you can kind of see when I put this level, this pistol sits above the rest of this. So this is supposed to catch all your stuff, all that food, all the junk, all the crap that's in your sink, and allow this pistol to then drain water that flows over top of it. So it has to sit at the top of your sink. It doesn't, it's not supposed to sit at the bottom like it does on mine. It's supposed to sit towards the top. So what did I do? Let's go ahead and contact the people of Dripsy to see what they can help us with. What did they do? They got back to me and said they were very quick to respond back to me. This is, um, I'm calling during the coronavirus stay at home, shelter in place thing. And they did respond within 24 hours of my email during a work week. And they said that they're sorry that they, um, they don't have any plans to make a feet, uh, like a longer feet for this or something to allow it to sit higher, a riser. They don't have any plans to do that, but um, that's something they'll take into consideration. If I wasn't happy as well, they would um, help with the return process. I am happy. I'm just a little dissatisfied that it doesn't fit in my sink. It's nothing to do with the drip seat. Uh, it's just really my sink is deeper than most. So what did I do? I kind of just took some wire here 
this is um, like wire covered with this plastic so it hopefully will not rust. And I just kind of spiraled it around the sink drain. And what that does is it kind of allows the gypsy to function as perfect as it's supposed to do. So it sits just level with this and uh, we'll be able to get some stuff in here, some food, some rice we'll throw in here to actually see how it drains when it's working as it's intended. But now that I'm able to put this metal in here and put it at a certain level, it allows the water to drain perfectly. The water is going in here. That's where their food's gonna go. It's gonna go down in this channel here. And then the water is gonna flow over the, the junk, your crap in their sink, and use this middle pistol here to then drain the water. It's perfect design. I don't know why people haven't thought of this before the Dripsy, because it really is a great idea. The, uh, the sides here, allow water to flow through without allowing a lot of the you know your food remnants to fall through it's it's small um, the holes here are tiny but big enough for water to flow through but not your food not your rice not uh, pasta uh, none of that stuff it, it, it's really hard to get food through this and into the drain here um, so yeah let's go ahead and actually put some food in here and see how it how it acts Okay, so you can already see I have some stuff in here from our normal dishes. So I got some fig, some onion, some rice, cauliflower, farra, a whole bunch of good stuff. Um, and the water flows really well over top of it, you can see. It flows through the sides, you have this pedestal, this pistol in the center that's going to allow it to drain when there's a lot of stuff. So let's actually um, put it to the test. So I've got some rice here, some basmati rice, long grain rice. So we're going to run the cold water. I'm just kind of fill it up and see uh, what happens here. So this is about three quarters of a cup of rice. The whole thing. I didn't put it all in just yet. So you can see the rice is um, the water is draining through through it. So let's go ahead and fill this up. Three quarters of a cup of rice dumped in there. And uh, let's move it around. You know what we would normally do with dishes. And you can kind of see that water pulling the rice into the center because it's draining. So I think what, what really helps it here is this pistol in the center. Kind of like a flower's pistol. I think that's why it's called that. It allows the water to um, kind of flow over the, the junk and into this to actually drain out. So it's a little slower because this is the only point of access really. But um, it does still allow the water to drain out. So three quarters of a cup of rice with a bunch of normal junk from our dishes and it still was able to drain. So that's, that's really cool. All right, so we've emptied some of this stuff out from the rice demonstration um, and we still have a lot more rice in the drain. So this is what was left in the drain here in the sink. Um, not in the drain, in the sink. So you can see that again, we have, it's pretty evenly dispersed across that. Again, we're, we're not gonna have an issue draining. Um, the rice doesn't get stuck inside of it, nothing. But let's go ahead and move the camera over and actually show um, how easy it is to take this out and dispose of it. So I'm just gonna shift the camera to the side. This is our compost pile. Um, it's pretty gross. We got watermelon, so welcome to the summer. Um, so it's really easy, you just kinda pick it up from this center spot here. I'll show. So you just kinda pick it up from the center and then once you have it out, you can grab the sides. It's And then you just dump. Um, <clears throat> Just like normal, just like the regular one, you just dump it out. You can, I usually put this in the garbage can or the compost pile isn't so big, this watermelon's taking up a lot. So we just kind of shake it out a little bit and you can see there's still a little bit of stuff in here. Very flexible, very easy to move. Um, if you do this in the garbage, it's even easier. You just tap it on the side of the garbage can and it completely empty out. And really not much is stuck in there. It's really just the, um, you know, if I gave this a good tap on the garbage can, this, this would dump out, no problem. All right, so after a month of using the Dripsy, what are my thoughts? After about three weeks from my mom using it, what were her thoughts? Um, I really like it. I wish that there was something from the um, designer to allow it to rise or be higher up in my sink so that I didn't have to kind of hack it with a copper wire inside of there. I wish they provided some kind of BPA-free um, riser, you know, just around the side of the sink that you could possibly cut to fit your sink perfectly, you know, allow a two inch uh, riser that then can be cut to allow you to sink that in and then put the dripsy on top of it. Cause like I said, there is feet on the bottom of it and you can kind of use that to hold it up. 
Um, so that's one thing I don't, I don't like about it in my particular instance. Uh, my mom, it fits perfectly in her sink. Sits in there beautifully, she loves it. Uh, it's actually funny because I just, I bought, like I said, I bought two, so I just gave her one because it was cheaper to buy two and I knew she would at least use it somewhat. Um, she said that it was really funny that I happened to give it to her because she was sick and tired of this and she was just thinking the other day of looking for an alternative to these, this metal normal thing that you usually have. So it was a really good gift. I probably should have held it to Mother's Day. Um, but that would have been kind of weird to give her for Mother's Day. But, but it is a really good gift uh, for, your, for people who are, you know, wash the dishes, which is pretty much everybody. Um, so she was really happy with it after using it for a few weeks. And she still is happy with it. We just went over there the other day. And she was, you know, look, watch, look what it, look what it does. So that was really cool. Um, she really enjoys it. She's very happy with it. So good purchase on it for her. For me, I think it's also a very good purchase. After I hacked it and put that copper wire in there, it's functioning as intended and allowing the water to flow over the food and still drain through. So I don't have to stop mid cleaning and empty the drain, empty this metal thing out, which gets gross, empty this out in the middle of doing dishes, push the dishes aside. Hopefully there's not more stuff that's gonna go down the drain while this is removed. You don't have to face, you don't have to deal with any of that. With the Dripsy, it does again only hold so much, but so does this. This only holds so much food anyway. But with the Dripsy, you don't have to actually clean the sink until you're done. So then you can push that extra food out of the way, pick the Dripsy up, dump it in your compost or dump it in your garbage, put it back in, then rinse some water around and get the rest of the food debris into there and do it again. Allows you to really get um, a good cleaning out of the sink and remove the food particles out of there and not have to do it mid dish washing. But they do say to wash your garbage disposal because um, it doesn't, I think the garbage disposals are a little larger and this is only three and a, three inches and a quarter. So 3.25 inches. Um, actually, let's see right here. Uh, exactly what it said. So it fits most standard 3.5 sink drains, 3.25 outer di diameter with a one inch depth. So if your sink is any larger than that, and usually those, those uh, garbage disposal drains are bigger than that, this will not fit in there. Um, another thing I really like this for is because we have septic here. And with a septic system, you really don't want to have food going into your, your pipes because it it's not good for your, uh, your, your leach field. It's not good for the septic system to have a lot of food or oil down there. So this helps reduce the amount of food in, the, in your septic as well. Whereas with this, uh, like I said, mid-cleaning, you're taking this out, and some food will definitely go down the drain while this is out while you're dumping it out so you can catch the rest of it. This helps prevent that. So this is really good for septic systems as well because it catches all that food stuff. So overall, really, really cool product. Um, $9, I think it's worth it. Uh, again, uh, $9 is only $9. It is affordable, but it's $9 for something that sits in your drain. And you, know, you have this already, so do you really need to replace this? Yes. You do. Uh, it makes a good gift. They do sell these in packs of two on Amazon and on the Dripsy website, they have packs of four. So if you're looking for, you know, family members or maybe even like one of those, um, like the white elephants around Christmas, around the holiday time, this is a really cool gift that you don't think you need, but you do. You are definitely gonna use this and be happy with whoever gives this to you. With that said, I'm gonna make a note for myself. This is probably gonna be in my white elephant at the office because again, it's one of those uh, cool thanks no, try it. Trust me, try it. And then um, you're going to love it. So made in the U.S., made here in New Jersey, so it's even better. And um, very cool product. I recommend if you have a sink that you check this out. There is alternatives to this. Um, you know, there are like Chinese knockoffs and alternatives uh, made here in America as well. But I do believe that this is the perfect design. This is probably the one you're going to want to get. With. So the Dripsy Sink Drainer, very, very cool.